A battery is made out of particles. The cathode is made out of this grounded material, usually lithium cobalt oxide, lithium manganese oxide. The anode is made out usually of graphite particles of carbon, which stores the lithium when you charge them and discharge them. Lithium comes from the cathode side, goes through this through the separator, and then gets inside the particles. But sometimes there are local conditions on the surface that then the lithium, instead of going inside, they prefer to start forming a little nuclei. And then when they form, that, that little nuclei of lithium is what we call dendrites. There has been all sorts of competing accounts to, on how to describe them. And what we did is to try to take these different uh, descriptions on how they happen and try to unify them and explain you know, at least two or three of the mechanisms that, that are the, the most prevalent descriptions on, on, on dendrite growth. There's two types of, of, of dendrite growth. The main one is called tip control which is basically lithium comes from the top, from the counter electrode, deposits on the surface of the dendrite, and that advances the surface one step. But in some cases, lithium still comes, okay, and instead of depositing there, what happens is it just gets redistributed and, and induces some stresses in the dendrite, okay, which will cause the dendrite to basically squeeze itself up from the base, basically. That's called base control growth. If you discharge your battery slowly, you don't give time for this lithium to accumulate on the surface. What it instead will happen is that lithium will have time to go inside the anode graphite particles, and then you can reuse it. Okay, if you do it very fast, that will induce a large voltage drop between the anode and the cathode. Okay, and that could give you enough potential to nucleate one of these dendrites. And once you form it under normal conditions, you will never to be able to get rid of it. Now we're gonna be trying different types of separators, which is the layer that you can actually design in between. And the idea is to find structures that will promote one type of mechanism of dendrite growth with respect to the other one, or a combination of any of these two mechanisms to, to suppress the lithium growth completely. Uh, we have electrical, chemical, and mechanical aspects to play with. Uh, and since we have the opportunity to not only explore one combination of parameters, we can basically explore everything commercial and even non-existent out there. So there's a, a lot of interesting opportunities to propose new separator layers.